What's up Trap Squad, we are back with the really cool item I found. As you guys know, I'm a Pokemon card collector. I have other collections and I take my cards serious, right? I want a minty, I want a perfect. So I found this really cool item online that it's a binder for your top loaders. I'll kind of go over it, I'll do a little review and show you how it works, but you can now display and keep your cards super protected, especially your expensive ones. So stay tuned to find out more details about this. Let's get it. Guys so much for stopping by if you haven't had a chance subscribe to the channel i really would appreciate that i do card openings i play games i do reviews like this if i find a really cool product i like to share it tell you guys about it do tutorials on different things as well and this one was exciting when i saw it online i really wanted to get it right i'll go over everything the pricing how it looks how it works some pros some cons so you know let's get into the box first And opening it up, you guys saw earlier, the box is pretty simple. I plan on keeping it in the box because it's a really cool design. And personally, it's just like another layer of protection, right? Even though the binder itself is super good, the box itself is just like, it's like it looks like a nice display case, right? To take it out, pretty simple. You just slide it out like this. It's just like a basic uh, plastic case to hold it. But again, it's just adding layers of protection. This top loader, you know, I want my top loaders to be good because those are potentially going to PSA or they're going to be part of my collection forever. You can take off the rubber band right here, it's really simple. And you flip to the first page. So once you're here, you have a lot of options. Um, I really like the design itself. It holds nine cards, as you can see. Um, you're able to double side your cards, but you cannot put in cards from the other side, at least from here. So you would have to put in a new card. Um, I guess I will show you guys here. So this lab is really neat, keeps the card down. And the only way to put cards is from the front page and that's on all of them. But technically you can double stack top loaders and put them in here. Um, or you can put a card here in the inside of this one and then face it, you know, twice. And this is you know, a little more planning on how you want your binder to look. And if you want to move cards around, it's going to be a harder. But I believe it's designed for one top loader. And again, you can just lift this tab up real quick. I really like that because it keeps it sealed and it keeps them from falling out, right? Because if you carry it backwards, if you carry it in any other direction, it has a chance to just fly out, right? You want these protected, you want them sturdy, you want them safe. So this is a great place to keep them again. Um, it just depends on how you want to store your stuff. Pretty easy to flip over. Uh, the binder comes with 15 pages that holds a nine cards. It's Again, it's meant for nine cards, but you can put more depending on your collection. And I haven't really looked into it, but I'm pretty sure you can buy more of these pages, right? It came with 15, uh, more than plenty, but if you want more, I'm sure you can just add them on here, right? That way you can keep them single paged. And again, it just depends where you want to put your cards, how you want to organize them. Price-wise, these do go on Amazon. Uh, the company, I saw them selling them for 49, so 50 bucks. It's definitely steep. I feel like the only reason it would be this steep is because there's not much competition. There's not really any good top loader binders out there, right? I was looking for one. I didn't even think they existed until I found these. I was really happy. Honestly, I'm really happy with it. I feel like as they master the prototype, it might get cheaper. But for now, I wanted something like this, right? So I want to have a section where the cards I'm going to send over to PSA, cards to collect, 
trainers, gold cards, and having them out is dangerous. Right? I have them on shelves in the back, and I'm just scared one day I'm gonna pass by and knock them all over. And you know, any little damage can definitely kill your chances of some good stuff. And yeah, again, you can decorate your binder how you want, put them however you like. Um, it's pretty simple. I plan on doing kind of like a theme, like full arts here, golds here, rainbows here, right? You have to kind of count, see how many you have, make sure you have room for extras. But overall, I think it's a great buy. Um, Price-wise, is a little expensive. But I think, I think it's definitely worth it, right? Because this card itself costs more than the binder. So to keep this card safe, along with hundreds or maybe thousands of dollars of other cards, very well protected. I think it's really worth it. The only downsides I can think about this is that to stack them, you know, you can't double stack them, which personally I like being able to like look at the back page and see cards, see faces. So I know it would require the sleeves to be a little thicker, which might cost more, or they might not look as nice or be as safe. So maybe that's why they didn't do it. Also the cover itself, um, I like it, right? Um, I guess it kind of shows you what's inside. I think if they had different options of colors, maybe like the black one, like the, the pro binders are, would be nice. But size wise, it's pretty nice. Again, it's perfect. The cards fit on point and you, you can kind of feel like your cards are safe in here, right? You know, they're somewhere safe. Um, you can display them very nicely and, and you can have your top cards in here. Just so you guys know, I'm not a sponsor by them. I just found it when to do a review or if you're thinking of buying it yourself and you saw it online. I didn't see many reviews, so I kind of wanted to just go over it with you guys. Um, they are really simple to put the cards in, to display. There's really not that many negatives to it other than the price, right? But again, I really think it's worth it because you're going to be putting in cards worth a lot. Like right here, you know, front page, almost $1,000, right? I paid $50 to protect $1,000. I personally think it's worth, but maybe by the time you're seeing this or cheaper, it might be more expensive and they get more popular just depending, you know, on what kind of material they use, what they're doing. I did also notice that they had this little slab back here. Um, I think that might be for you to put a page or something so you can tell what kind of binder it is. Because this is worth for any type of sports cards, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, anything you can think of. Like, you can have this binder for that, right? Because Top Loaders is for anything, not just Pokemon specifically. But to keep your rare card safe is definitely worth it. So some of the specifics of the binder are that it contains one top loader album, one top loader slipcase, 15 top loader pages. Store and display your top loader assets collecting into nine pockets top loader pages. The product material is non-PVC, acid-free, and eco-friendly. So it's always great to have stuff good for the environment and to be able to protect your cards, right? It supports 3x4 top loaders up to 130 print in 9 pocket standard layout. 9 pocket top loader pages approximately 344 by 285 millimeters. Top loader slipcase approximately 365 by 327 by 52 millimeters. And the album is 361 by 325 by 50. The storage box itself is 392, 338, 63 in case you had a place you wanted to keep them in. And you want to know the dimensions of it this is where it's at but overall guys honestly i think it's worth it um save up sell some of your cards break the piggy bank whatever it's definitely a really cool item and it has a lot of good reviews right there's not much negative about it again other than the price um maybe being clear some people don't like that you know some people don't like seeing what's inside but you can always put a page here you can put something in the front um there's no negatives about being able to save your cards and again, if you have like a really cool display, like if I have all my shinies, all my golds, it's gonna look amazing, right? I definitely wanna wait to that. I haven't thought about how to sort them out. So if you got like a very creative mind, comment below. Let me know how you will sort them out, right? Like would you put all your gold card first, then your rainbows and your full art, or how would you move them around by case, by set? Like, well, definitely do let me know. But once again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know what you guys think of this review. And if you do order one, let me know as well. They're super cool, super innovative, and honestly, I can't wait to see like more products from this company. Thank you for stopping by. Till next time.